Come on, man. Hey, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Just watch what I do, man. Come on, bring it down. Baby, that is how you jump over an Aston Martin, boy. That's how you do it. Hyper dunks. Do not try this at home. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And as you guys can tell by the title, today we take a look at the Nike Hyper Dunk 10 or X with the Kobe NXT AD 360 or 360AD. Real quick, before we get into this, like, comment, and subscribe. Show your boys some love, and follow us on our socials at This Is Pure Kicks. Let's get it. So today in the studio, we're comparing the Kobe 360s with the Nike Hyperdunk X. And fun fact: Kobe Bryant actually introduced the Hyperdunk 10 years ago at the Olympics. This is very cool stuff. So it's very exciting for us to compare Kobe Bryant, the legend who is now retired, with the shoe today that he introduced 10 years ago but now with the 10th version today let's get it <laughs> so out the gate off the bat talking about aesthetics clean shoes i don't think this is a hard one for me. it's not a hard one it's not a hard one clean shoes however i think the kobe takes it it takes it it takes it by a mile the colorways even this colorway i talk about the black one every time we talk about kobe it's yeah. just pang -a um, we've seen a couple colorways in the Hyperdunk. A couple, one or two. They look, they, 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 they're they nice. Yeah. They're nice. Unfortunately, we're not in a position to present the best Hyperdunk yet, because Nike hasn't released an Elite version yet. So unfortunately, based on this one, this one takes the cake. Next up, talking about the traction in both shoes. Over here in the Kobe 360s, we have the Killmonger skin traction pattern. And this performed like an absolute beast to me absolute beast surprisingly too actually because i didn't expect the shoe to grip the floor that well but it did and i got buckets and it felt good so the traction this shoe was amazing over here in the hyperdunk we have this modified wavy herringbone pattern which did okay just lacked a little bite yeah it was all right it was all right it was all right it was all right no bite it gripped the floor just a little bit but it didn't grip it as we come to expect especially with our styles of play so the traction was okay, and that's basically as far as it's gonna get. Yeah. So this one's a no-brainer. It's the Kobe and that Killmonger skin traction. Easy money. So next up, talking about cushioning. Here in the Hyperdunk, we have that cord out Phylon carrier, along with two zoom bags, one in the forefoot and one in the heel. A very, very thick one in the heel, along with a kind of regular size one in the forefoot, which plays fantastically. It does. It's a great setup. It's been used many, many times in many shoes before because it works. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. You get that great heel to toe transition when you're up and down the court. You get great impact protection, great court feel, and comfort is there as well. So it's, you could consider it quite basic, but it gets the job done yeah. very, very well. No, it's, it's more than basic. It's more than, it's more, basic. more than basic. It's more than basic. It's more, more than regular. More than regular? More than more regular. It gets the job done. It could easily be employee of the month. 100%. Gets the job done. Very well. Yeah. I enjoyed it heavily. Unfortunately, I didn't quite enjoy it as much as this. And when I say this, I'm referring to this. Here, ladies Every and gentlemen. Time Every time. I must. Because what we have here is groundbreaking, transcendent cushioning, ladies and gentlemen. Nike have combined two of their greatest foam technologies and produce this what's their lifetime experience. Here we have React and Lunalon, what I like to call Lunar React. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, what Nike have done here, they've put React in the heel, so this yellow part is React, and Lunalon in the forefoot, which is this pink part here. It's a lot firmer in the forefoot, which is amazing because you get lovely response and it's close to the ground, and you get a nice plushness and the comfort in the heel with the React. This is a what's in life and experience, people. I'm not joking about. This feels absolutely incredible, especially for guards. Timmy and I are both guards. This setup was sensational. So, point goes to the Kobe. No discussion to be had. Amazing cushioning. Next up, talking about materials, what we have here is 360 degrees flying it. 
Nike's best materials in my opinion. No, they're flying it. And it feels absolutely amazing. I've said this a million times now. This right here might be the most comfortable shoe I've ever played in. Mm -hmm. And that is because of the React and also because of the flying it. The materials are incredible. They're not as durable as I'd like them to be, mm -hmm. but they still get the job done and they're fantastic. So yeah, materials here are A1. Over here, we see a basic setup, especially for Nike. A mesh construction throughout with neoprene in the midfoot. They're nice, and that's about it. Now, I think it's just because we've been jaded, we've been spoiled over the years with things such as flying it. Uh, so when we get mesh in a 2018 shoe, it feels like a step back. Kind of but it's only us being spoiled and being spoiled brats about it because it does feel really good. They are yeah. great materials. The point about durability isn't really there. They are pretty good for durability. I know I mentioned in my performance review about some paint chipping, but overall the materials are very, very good. Great for comfort, feel amazing, great for durability. Really, really good. Really, really good. With all that being said, it doesn't quite get the job done as well as the Kobe does. Gets it done, like we've already mentioned, but the Kobe gets it really done. Yeah, and I like, think really. I think they've just clocked, Nike's just clocked flying it now in the Kobe's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? This has been trial and error for many years now. It has. Do you know what I mean? So we're not excuse. saying that it's better because it has flying it, it's better because Nike has clocked the flying it. The Kobe's have always had flying it, not always, but for a long time. For a time, long while now. For a long while now. And the flying it hasn't always been this amazing. So unfortunately, you are up against a Titan here, so. Titan. It's not your fault, man. Hey, can you talk to me on the shoe? I'll talk to the shoe. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll talk to you, dude, if I'm gonna <laughs> Next up, talking about fit. The Hyperdunk fits like a charm. It feels amazing. It, the lacing system combined with those materials as you mentioned just feel awesome. They hug the foot so so well really with well. padding on the inside around the Achilles as well. The neoprene does the trick. It's in great placement around that midfoot so it holds where it needs to hold. Yeah, it's a great fitting shoe. Again, talking about that lacing system, it's where it needs to be along with those fly wire like cables. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Great, great fitting shoe in the Hyperdon. Over here in the Kobe, obviously I've spoken about the materials and the shoe fits amazingly well. It requires minimal, zero breaking time out of the box. And once the shoe breaks in, every time you play in the shoe, it conforms to your foot more and more and it just feels better and fits better the more you play in the shoe. Now the reason why I think the point goes to the Hyperdunk is because you don't get that security in the Kobe. Mm. It doesn't give you that nice, snug and secure fit that you want in a basketball shoe. It gives you more of a comfort slash comfort fit. I said comfort twice because that's how it feels. It's Too very, very comfortable. Whereas here you get more of that secure, snug feel, which I think a lot of us basketballers want in a shoe. Along with because comfort. It takes away that mental aspect of oh, thinking yeah. that you might roll your ankle. Yeah, most definitely. Me, I've got ankles of steel, so I never worry about it. Me, not I'm, so much. I'm indestructible, low key immortal, so I'm cool. However, there are many of us out there, not us, because I don't include myself, so many of you out there, that might prefer that snug and secure fit. So, with all that being said, the point goes to the happy dog. Next up, talking about the support in both shoes, over here in the Kobe 36 is what we have is Nike's triple threat support system. And that comes from its external TPU your heel counter, outrigger of the shoe to help with lateral support. And what we have is the overall lockdown of the shoe as well, the fit of the shoe, which helps keep your foot nice and secured. It works like a charm, gets the job done always. It's not amazing, it's not incredible, but it gets the job done. So the support in the shoe is very good. Over here in the Hyperdunk team, we also have that usual support system from Nike with the outrigger shape to help with lateral support, the heel counter, which is internal, and of course that overall lockdown, which comes from that midfoot and those flywire cables I mentioned a second ago. Combined with how the shoe fits, support does come in a very, very well in the Hyperdunk. When you lace them up, you feel that security, you feel that hug, you feel that snugness, and you also feel taken care of on all your moves as well. Support feels fantastic. Nike did their thing in this one. So I think the point goes to the Hyperdunk on this one as well. I think so too. It's a super close one. It's very, very close. But I think I prefer the heel lockdown and containment in the Kobe's, but the overall lockdown in the Hyperdunk is just a tad better. The cheekiest of tads. Cheekiest of tads. What the hell's a tad? A tad is a tad, man. A tad is a tad. A tad is a tad. I don't know what it is, but we've heard it. A word with the same word. Tad. Last and unfortunately, talking about the value slash the price of both shoes, 
I'm just gonna go say it. This shoe is 160 pounds. That shoe is 115 pounds. So the point goes to the hyper dog. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, even though Nike has priced the shoe at £160, you do get all of their best technologies. React is its best newcomer. It feels absolutely amazing. To, to have that combined with Lunalon is an absolute treat. 360 degrees of flying it is absolutely amazing. What's not amazing is that it's £160, unfortunately. I don't really care what you have in the shoe. For a shoe to be priced that high is rude. <laughs> Damn right rude. Damn right rude. How there you. But I still bought them, so <laughs> I'm the loser, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> you love me for paying right now. Love for paying. Whereas in the Hyperdonx, you are getting exactly what it is you paid for. Overall, this might be one of the best overall performers that we have right now. It works like an absolute charm across the board. Everything about the shoe is very, very good, and the price is very, very good too. So yeah, the point definitely goes to the Hyperdunk. I'm trying to explain why this shoe is worth 150 pounds, but I can't, because it's not. But yeah. So right guys, looking at the score, it's 4-3 to the Kobe. The Kobe comes out on top yet again. After taking everything into consideration, it kind of made sense. Kobe came out on top, but the Hyperdunk still did its thing in the ring for sure. The Hyperdunk is considered the jack of all trades. Jack it does everything trades. really well. Whereas the Kobe, for example, does a few things extremely well, which is what we're going to see throughout uh, its life as we use them, so on and so forth. But a very, very great comparison. You've got your jack of all trades and then, of course, your Kobe shoe. So that is it from us. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button, like this video and show your boys some love. And as always, comment down below which shoe you think comes out on top if you've tried out both. We'd love to know your thoughts and opinions as per usual. If you want to see what shenanigans we get up to outside of the YouTube channel, follow us on at this is pure kicks across all our socials. Follow us. <laughs> and lastly, make sure you hit that fantastic red button that says subscribe on it, right? Hit that button and join the pure kicks team. All of our comparisons, all of our performance reviews, our basketball and NBA talks, we have it all. Make sure you hit that button and hit the notify bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. So you're the first to see, first to comment, first to like, and show your boys some love as per usual. Do that. Appreciate it. So all right, guys, that's it from us. This is the Hyperdunk 10. This is the Kobe 360s. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.